tell me me what my genre speciality is. If you really want to convince me you give a crap, you should at least know that. The genre that the ultimate writing prodigy specializes in? I don't know. Okay, you got me. I really don't care. Greetings, you people. Hello, my king. How's it going? How has it been? This is to do it, Dane. Welcome back to some more Danganronpa. And I dare say that uh, the game is weird. <laughs> However, it's growing on me. It's actually more and more fun as we go along. Basically, probably just because of the whole story elements and you don't really know what the hell is going on. It's sort of like um, a, a mystery to be solved. Or, or in the vein of the great mysteries of old, but on acid. Right? It could be a thing. Anyway, I have I have checked all the things inside of here once before. I don't know if I should go and try to take a shower now. Can I do that? This door doesn't seem to quite fit the door frame. And remember the trick to open it? Okay, that's it. Apparently, we don't take showers. We just do not take showers. We're just one of those people. Yes, we're going to continue on our adventure. Now, we did make good or make nice or whatever with uh, Sayaka yesterday. Um... We gave her gifts. I am trying to remember what the gift was. I think it was tea. In fact, I am quite sure now that it was tea because tea fixes everything. Makes everything great. It almost feels like I should go and get more of those little weird coin things. Go to the school store and get more tea. Or at least get the option of getting tea. And then give tea to everybody because everybody loves tea, right? Right? Okay, Toko. Um, do I want to talk to Toko? Can I go inside of here? I just see a lot of these doors are going to tell me, hey, you know, I have no reason to talk to these people, but I'm going to try it anyway. I guess I should press the door, but hey, ding dong. <laughs> Did you c come here to, t to yell at me? Yes, anyway. that's what I do. That's what most people do in their day to day. They get up in the morning like, man, I wish I had a neighbor that I could yell at. Right? My whole life is one un unpleasant experience after another. Hmm, should I hang out with Toko while she's acting like this? Spend some time with Toko? Go see who else is around. You know what? We're going to spend some time with Toko. She seems like she needs to have a bit of a pick-me-up. Also, I have gifts I can give her. Oh, uh, maybe, maybe that will entice her not to kill me. Right. Also, maybe not kill anybody else. That is the agenda. No murders happen, and then we're doing really, really well. However, I feel that, you know, we, we need to make sure that everybody, everybody needs to have at least one gift from us so that, you know, it, it's kind of like those guys you really don't like people you really don't like but you want, really want to impress upon them hey look I'm the nice guy so when you go blasting away you know when you just like lose your mind and just go killing people you remember that hey I was the nice guy and you'll leave me alone right in the in the in the in between all the carnage that is around me I happen to be saved it, it it's purely selfish right anyway um spend some time to talk let's do it <laughs> I was perfectly happy spending time by myself, but I guess if you're so desperate for attention, I can hang out with you a bit. Right, she's gonna hang out with us. I spent some time with a cold and distant Toko. Why is she blushing? What kind of time did we spend exactly? Toko and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Toko a present? Um, yes, definitely. I feel that I could... I don't have tea, but I could give you something. So there's rose... Wait, I do have tea. Rose hip tea. Hi. I, potato chips. She seems like a potato chip person. I don't know why. Red scarf. No. No, hand bra. No. Astro baby, or boy doll. Astro boy doll. Oh, Astro boy. I'm um, quality chinchilla cover. Chinchilla type of individual. I don't know. Golden airplane, probably not. Millennial, or millennium prize problems. Sacred tree sprig. No. Doesn't seem like her at all. What's this? School crest. No. Okay. When in doubt, tea, man. Tea is everything. Oh, potato chips. Uh, tea. We're gonna go tea. An herbal essence, um, well, tea, to promote beauty and wellness. You can somehow sense its essential elegance. I will, I will, I will give that to you, sure. Um, let's, let's do it. Wait, no, what happened? What I, go back. I wanna go to rosehip tea. Thank you. And I wanna give. What button is give? Would you like to, it says why? No. Balls, what are you doing? I'm gonna go give her tea. Is it that one? Is it that one? No. I don't know how to give her tea. Oh, I don't have any tea! No! Okay, potato chips it is. A staple snack food made by frying thin potato slices in oil. Beware, it's dangerously high calorie count. I will give you that, yeah. Let's, let's give her that. That's what we will give. Except, it's not letting me do that either. Since I have one. So give it. Thank you! 
<laughs> what, what is this? M more pity? No, 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 it's potato chips! You jerk, do you always give people presents when you pity them? <laughs> you really are a t total sucker. Does that mean she liked it? I have no idea now. The potato chips, how can you dislike potato chips? She's just standing there, does she want something? But she's not saying anything! Maybe I should try to start a conversation. Uh, Toko? What? You wanna to talk to not talk to me? Well, I can't stop you to talk already. Okay, sure, but what should I say? Uh, what do you like to do in your spare time? Why do you wanna know? Well, I mean, you know, we're trapped in here together, right? If we're gonna be friends, it'd be nice to get to know each other. What did you just say? Um... After that p part about being trapped, we're gonna be- what what Uh, friends? <laughs> I feel like everything I've done this day is a mistake. What do you mean, friends? You think I'm so stupid? You're trying to trick me! <laughs> I've already been hurt once before, I'm not gonna l let it happen again! You've been hurt? What happened? Anyway... Come on, you don't really care about me. You don't want to know about me, even I know that. No, that's not true. <laughs> Fine, what then the tell me. Tell you what? <laughs> you know, why they could call me the ultimate writing prodigy, right? Yeah, sure. You've won all kinds of literature prizes and stuff. <laughs> tell me what, what I'm good at. Tell me, me what my genre speciality is. If you really want to convince me you give a crap, you should at least know that. The genre that the ultimate writing prodigy specializes in? No? Okay, you got me. I really don't care. Um, it, oh, obviously it was, it was, uh, young adult. It was non-fiction. It was, it was one of these three. I'm pretty sure it was young adult. Yeah, I go for young adult. Hey, you, you were just thinking some w worthless thought, huh? How long are you gonna make me- Wait, answer already! The genre that the ultimate writing prodigy specializes in. Okay, so y it wasn't young adult. Oh, was it? And I'm just second-guessing myself. No, no, non non non-fiction. She doesn't- Was it romance? Is she into romance? I don't know, was it romance or non-fiction? Non-fiction! It's non-fiction, right? Wait, that can't be right. I don't think you need to be a writing prodigy for that kind of thing. What's your problem? Come on, if you really know, hurry up and say it. Um, the genre that the ultimate writing prodigy specializes in is obviously romance. You know, when there's only one option left. It's romance, of course. Oh, you, you actually knew? No. Your biggest success was So Lingers the Ocean, right? Everyone says it's your masterpiece. The book was such a hit that fishermen shot to the top of all the hottest men poles, right? <laughs> oh, that's right. I remember that now. I'm a bad person. I'm a, Personally, I'm a bad person. I don't remember this stuff. How did you know all that? There's no way you could care about me. I'm telling you, I do. I mean, we're friends, aren't we? <gasps> mm -hmm. I'm <gasps> blind. Your straightforward nature blinded me. Yeah. Joko ran off, screaming like a banshee. Wait, banshees sound like that? Did I do a proper representation of a banshee screaming? <laughs> They're not so scary after all. I'm really... I'm not really sure. Does she hate me now? Toko's report card has been updated based on your experience with her. You just unlocked the skill vocabulary. Give yourself a pat on the back. You've earned it. Great. Once we're all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. Right, can I take a shower now? Please don't ding dong bing bong me. There's still lots of time left in the day. I really don't feel like just sitting here. Maybe I'll take a look around. We could do that. That is a thing. I just say we're gonna go talk to more people. Because last time it was sort of okay. We didn't die, so therefore, that. Wait, two. That's Sayaka. I could, I could, like, increase my relationship with you. Um. But I don't know. Ooh. This is the ass hat. Let's talk to the asshat. This is Byaku's Byaku Byakuya's room. I don't really have anything to talk to him about right now. Wait, how about Junko then? Junko, 
This is Junko's room. I don't really have anything to talk to her about right now. Okay, it was somebody. Somebody was telling me that I need to go and talk to. Not Toko. Was it Toko? Was it Toko? That was Toko I just talked to. Was it not? Who the hell have I been talking to? Is it Aka? I think it was Toko. Jihiro! Um... Sakura. Sakura! Sakura! I can talk to... Protection! We like protection! Give me protection! This is Sakura's room. I don't really have anything to talk to her about right now. That is unfortunate, because... Ah! Ah, hello! Then I was just ad 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 admiring your beautiful doorknob. That came out wrong. Talk to me. Hey! Makoto. I... Hmm. Actually, never mind. So, what do you want? Hmm, I should talk to Screw for a while. Yeah, spend some time with it. Um, go see what's... No, 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 no. This is a good idea. I like this. This is great. This is well, good. then. You know, Makoto, you seem a little thin for a man. <laughs> mm. How about I help you bulk up a bit? Okay, I'm all about that. Sakura subjected me to a harsh, borderline cruel training session. Sakura and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Sakura a present? Oh, balls. Do I have anything to give her? Yes, I do, actually. I have a tree sprig. What do you want to give her? I want to give her a tree sprig, dude. Where is it? Zom Project Zombie. No, tree sprig. Where is it? That's the one. Sacred tree sprig. If she doesn't want this, nobody does. That's the one. Give it. Branch from a sakake tree. Commonly used in Shinto rituals. It serves as a connection between humans and the gods. Yes, do it. Yes, I, I want to give that. <laughs> you didn't need to go to all this trouble for me. Does that mean she liked it? Hmm. My post-training break is the most relaxing time of my day. The sensation of your muscles cooling down after heating up during a workout is the only true reward. No matter how many times I experience it, I never get tired of it. Do you exercise every morning, Sakura? Hmm. Unless there are errands that I absolutely can't get out of, yes, I always do my training. If I don't, I feel restless for the rest of the day. But I'm amazed you can do it every single day. Doesn't it get tough? Hmm. Can't say I've... Never seen it as tough. It's also that I can get stronger after all. And I have to keep on getting stronger because my destiny is to fight. Your destiny is to fight? Mm. From the day I was born, I've been fighting. Heaven sent me to live as its champion. That's one heck of a legend. Mm. My father was my master and my every waking moment was spent with him learning to fight. As a child, I sparred with boxing champions and hit the mat with wrestling gold Medalists. I was no match for them when I first began, of course. But before long, uh, they were no match for me. Y you mean, you actually started beating people like that? Mm. I'd say my specialty is solid stand-up that transitions into grappling and a strong ground game. Essentially, it's a complete approach. Anything else just wouldn't make sense. You can only become the best by reaching the top of each discipline, then fusing them all together. Stand-up fighting, grappling, and a strong ground game. That could only be... Mixed martial arts. That's everything, man. That's every... Right? It's everything. You're basically a mixed martial arts fighter, right? Of course. That's right. I'm the most effective real-world fighting style, which is why I chose it. I don't want to just be the best in competitions. I want to be the strongest human on Earth. I wouldn't bet against you, that's for sure. But aren't you actually the best? Well... No, not yet. There's still someone I have to surpass. Really? Huh. Until I can beat him, I'll never become the strongest. You mean there's someone out there stronger than you? Maybe I'll tell you about it another time, if the opportunity presents itself. Sakura didn't make a sound as she left. I honestly can't believe there's someone out there stronger than Sakura. Even if they're real, can they really be human? Sakura's report card has been updated because of your experience with her. Your maximum number of skill points has increased. Hey, look at you go! I did stuff. I headed back to my room for a little while. How much more time do I have? Do I have time to talk to more people? Maybe I do. Straight up. Oh no, ding dong, bing bong. I just gotta turn off the shower water again. Yep. No shower for me. Surprise anybody stalking mm. to me. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. Okay. As such, it is officially night time. And the official is who? You? Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. 
Mmm, so you're saying that I left, if I left right now and ran really fast, I could probably get to the dining hall before it's locked. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night, sleep tight, don't let the bed bugs bite. Not entirely something I wish upon anybody. The third day here has already come to an end. Uh, then, when will I know we? When are we gonna get out of here? Do I get a chance to run to the dining hall? I laid on my bed and stared blankly at the ceiling. And before I knew it, I'd fallen into an uneasy sleep. Okay. Something bad has happened yet, right? I need an immediate fast acting pick me up. If it doesn't act now, it's the same as giving in to regret. What do you think guides the world? Speed, of course. That's why Formula One drivers are so popular. Any idiot can accomplish something if they take it slow. Even a piece of excrement could create a masterpiece if they spent their entire life on it. Actually, I would say that that would be impressionist art. And if you throw shit against a wall really hard, it will make an impression. And the resulting image is very random. And people buy into that sort of thing. It's really good. Also smells funny, but that's okay. People like that too. Someone who does things in a timely fashion is both wise and admirable. Straight is better than a curve or an angle. Freestyle is better than the backstroke or a breaststroke. Drive through is better than a sit down. A Sunday comic artist is better than a graphic novelist. What I'm saying is, speed is the gold standard of the standard Which world. Which is why I said I need that pick me up. What do you mean? Meanwhile, like instantly later, ding dong, bing bong. Wait, was I dreaming? I was dreaming about Monokuma? That doesn't seem like a good dream at all. I would never dream him again. Good morning, everyone! It is now get ready to greet another be- I'm just kind of turning off the TV. I woke up to the irritating sound of Monokuma's voice. I slowly pulled myself out of bed. Another night of rest sleep. Day after day, I could feel the fatigue piling up. Also, the smell. Man. As soon as the thought had crossed my mind... Somebody's at my door? The sound of the doorbell forced its way into my room. Right! I should grab my weapon! If nothing else, it is, like, probably heavy, right? Better be careful. Just use that, and make somebody all go, hey. Hello! Okay, now this particular individual does need, ind indeed needs to calm down. I dare say that that sword, over the head, at the right angle, with the right force, will calm him right the hell down. Fantastic morning, isn't it? You would think so. T Taka? Hmm. Now then, if you'll pardon the interruption, without waiting for a reply, Taka barged into my room. Right. What's up, Taka? No matter how intensely the stormy seas may batter me, I will not fall as long as my feet are firmly planted. You agree, right? Uh, I'm not sure I without understand. Without a doubt. And if you can't do it alone, just find someone to support you, and you can support them back. You hear me? That's how you can overcome any storm. I was thinking about it last night, and I decided we all need to really come together. And that was when I realized, every morning from now on, after the morning announcement, everyone should have breakfast together. Quiet down and listen! And now is the beginning of that fateful day. Please, head to the dining hall at your earliest convenience. Got it! That's all for now. I have to go let everyone else know the good news. Taka didn't even wait for a reply. He turned and left before I could say a thing. Well, I guess I'd better head to the dining hall? See, I'm a rebel. See, in real life, th that would not fly. I'd be like, well, I was going to go eat this morning, but you know what I'm going to do today? Oh, I'm going to go uh, clean the bathrooms, because I would never otherwise have done that. And I'm going to now. So screw you. Or not screw you. Actually, not him. He's a little bit too intense, that guy. All right, we're going to go around this corner. Bam! And there's nobody here. Excellent. I'm going to go and sneak into somebody's room. Whose room? Leon! I'm gonna sneak into Leon's room. That's the guy with the fantastic hair. Everyone's meeting up at the dining hall. I should head there myself. Really? I can't go and sneak in? Oh, this guy... Yeah, he's definitely already there. Hello, then. Um, greetings and well met. You don't really have a collar for a tie, but whatever. Who am I to judge hey. style? Makoto, I can't, uh, can't any of you guys get a freaking clue? Mm -hmm. Are you for real? My mascara's totally clumpy. I don't want anyone to see me this way, but Taka came and woke me up. What a dick. You look just the same as yesterday to me. What the hell are you talking as about? If. It's like night and day. It's 
Sorry. Uh, I seriously need to reapply, but there's nothing I can do about it right now. Maybe I'll go see if Celeste can hook me up. Yeah, that's that. We've been imprisoned here, and that's what she's worried about right now? Clumpy mascara? Yeah, whatever. Again, I can't judge. Also, I'm gonna go pee in, some, in front of some fish. Can I not? I can't take a shower, and I can't go pee. Well... Yellow River by IP Fruit. You there! Talk to me, Leon. Hmm. Oh, I'm so freaking tired. I mean, seriously? What's wrong with that guy? Did he wake you up too? Yeah, he sure did. I guess he's going around waking up everyone. You know what I mean. It's seriously annoying. <laughs> going back to bed. If anyone needs me, I'll be in my room. Also, I just say anybody who becomes annoying might become the target. I don't think I'll do any good. I'm just. I'm wait. I don't think it'll do any good. I'm sure he'll just come bug you again. This is probably true. Give me true. a break. Damn it. I guess we better just go then. And that's that. Okay, so I have uh, recruited him to go to the dining hall, even though I don't want to go either. Laundry. Obviously somebody's in the laundry. I'm going to make sure that the... Everyone's meeting up the... Okay, fine. Talk to me, um, you. Talk up. The novelist that writes, uh... Books. Romance! Romance stories! Um, Toko... What's your problem? I was gonna ask you the same thing. Oh, I was just wondering what you were doing here. You should probably head to the dining hall, right? <laughs> I, I, no, I just need to prepare myself mentally. Mentally? Prepare yourself to what? Eat? How much are you planning on eating? <laughs> oh, I'm so <laughs> nervous. What's she nervous about? I mean, sometimes food can look a little weird, you know? I don't know what kind of food we've been eating, mind you. Maybe maybe it requires a psych up, you know? I'm gonna go Hope Speak Academy, I'm gonna look... Can I not look around anymore? Okay, who's hiding? I don't want to miss a thing. I'm like Aerosmith right now. Don't want to miss a thing. Except I can't really do the... the... <laughs> stuff. Was that a raptor? Jesus. I'll try it, though. A for effort. E for effort. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, N, O, P. You know what's interesting? I can do that backwards. Z, Y, X, and W, V, U, T, S, R, Q, P, O, N, M, L, K, J, I, S, G, F, E, D, C, B, A. Damn! All right, moving forward. Background music. Still going. Yes, everybody is now here. I was worried about not being able to talk to everybody. And, well, everybody's here. Why? Why are you way the hell over there? I can barely see you. But more important... Okay, okay. If I absolutely must talk to you, it's just... Let's just hurry up and start with a stupid meeting. Taka's gonna throw a fit if we don't. Obviously, I want to talk to you and your curls. A breakfast meeting, eh? Perhaps it will keep me entertained and make life with everyone here a bit more bearable. You there! What? What are you looking at me for? Mr. Goody Two Shoes is running the show for now. How about you, then? Um... Good morning! Good morning, Jahiro. <laughs> it's nice to get to eat with everyone. With so many people, it's actually kind of fun. Yeah. Hello, mm. then. Good morning. Fumi, you don't seem oh, too energetic. How can I be? I got woke up by that annoying, obnoxious, nightmarish guy. This is why I hate 3D so much. I don't really get that joke. Anyway, hey, um, Makoto. good morning, Makoto. Morning. <laughs> breakfast time, breakfast time. Gotta eat a big breakfast at breakfast time. You there with the hair. Yo. The ant eater look. Good morning. <sighs> Let's just it hurry up sucks. and get this over with. Taka's getting antsy. <laughs> Speaking of ants. Um, bam. Hey. Taka looks pretty impatient. We better get this started already. You there. Hi, Makoto. Good morning to you, Makoto. She can make even a basic greeting feel eloquent somehow. That's the power of celebrity, I guess. Hey, um... Is everything okay? Oh, yeah. Uh, good morning, Sayaka. I was just thinking about you to myself. Private thoughts and all. <laughs> good morning. G good morning. <laughs> to bring everyone together for a breakfast meeting is a very Taka-esque suggestion. You there. The one who wants a beer. Yo. This is me and this guy have a lot in common. Morning. Man, waking up to the sound of Taka squawking is not a fun way to start the day. Okay, Taka, I've talked to everybody but you, I think. Oh, wait, nope, sorry. There's ass hat guy over here. <laughs> Who continues to be an ass hat. Annoyed sign. I'd rather be ignored completely than suffer that kind of insult. There we go. What's your problem? What's the point of t talking to me? Taka's the one who got everyone t together. Go talk to him if you have questions or whatever. Okay, fine. 
Listen to me! Okay, looks like everyone's here, so then let's begin our very first breakfast meeting. Quiet down and listen! Everyone, thank you for making time and your busy schedules to come together. Take a break. I didn't make time for shit. You dragged me here. Hmm. I know I already mentioned this earlier, but in order to get out of here, it is essential that we all cooperate with each other. And the first step is this breakfast meeting to allow us to become friends and build trust. So from now on, let's all meet here in the dining hall every morning after the morning announcement. Now then, let's eat! <laughs> you want me to eat breakfast with other people? I've never done that b before, I'm not sh sure. I mean, seriously? Yeah, it's been a while for me, too. But more important... Well, anyway, did anyone happen to come up with any clues? Silence echoed throughout the dining hall. Seriously? Nothing at all? Hey! Anything. It can be about how to get out or who's doing this. Nobody has anything. Are you okay with this? You are going to die. Huh? <laughs> Do you understand? If you can't stop yourself from showing weakness in front of others, you will die. Stop it! What the hell? Don't even freaking joke about that. <laughs> I am not joking. Adaptability is survivability. Did I not say so? You better hurry up and adapt to your new life here. What the hell is this? Have you gone completely insane? Adapt to my new life here. Do you have any idea what you're asking? What? Yeah, sounds like what? the girl wants to live here. And hell, more power to her. But shit piece of shit no way in hell am i living here i'm getting out of here i don't give a shit <laughs> mm -hmm. sure feel free huh. okay uh... so nobody has any clues what the heck one thing i can tell you is who's behind all this someone who's totally weird and messed up why else would we be trapped in here in the first place hey listen well sure it could be something like that but for right now actual clues are uh, um huh. what's up um... If you think in terms of people who are really abnormal or bizarre, do you think maybe the person responsible for all of this could be a certain murderous fiend? I don't know. Maybe. A murderous fiend? Jihiro, do you have some idea who might be behind all this? Mm. Well, maybe. I mean, I can't really be certain, but uh, certainty is not a concern right now. I'll allow whatever remarks you may have. You know? You, you allow it. Okay, then. Well, have you guys heard of Genocide Jack? You mean that serial killer that's been in the news and all over the internet? <laughs> the monstrous villain who's murdered scores of victims in brutally bizarre fashion. The word bloodlust was left at each murder scene written in the victim's own blood. Whoever it is, he's like a ghost. He strikes without warning and disappears without a trace. And on the internet, they started calling him <laughs> Genocide Jack. That's about covers it, I guess. <sighs> they say he's claimed over a thousand victims. Hmm. That's just an urban legend though, right? I mean, even like ten people would be totally insane. Hmm. Anyway, whoever Genocide Jack really is, he's obviously some kind of super crazy killer. Huh? And if he really is this ultimate psycho, I wouldn't be surprised if he put together something like this. But... But like I said, I can't be certain. I, I don't have any evidence or anything, it's just a thought. Hey, hold on! But if they're the killer, isn't that like a killer of a problem for us? Yeah! It's okay, everything's absolutely positively 100% without a doubt going to be okay! Cause help's gonna be here soon, I'm sure of it! <laughs> uh, help? Cause, I mean... We've been stuck in here a few days already, right? Nobody's been able to contact us, so I'm pretty sure they're getting worried. I bet they called the police already. Uh... <laughs> What's this? The police. You're putting your faith in the police. Faster! What are you doing here? You guys. Seriously, do you understand what role the police exist to fill? And they're good, all they're good for is being a foil playing against a villain or anti-hero or evil organization. The bad guys come along and destroy them, and that shows just how badass they really are. <laughs> are you sure you want to rely on such an unreliable group of losers? Yeah. I mean, come on. <laughs> if you really, really want to get out of here, all you gotta do is kill. <laughs> what the hell? Why are you laughing? You know? I'm just impressed at the total commitment to this whole act. Come on. You're still going to go on about that? You're fucking dead. So, Mr. Serial Killer Psycho Freak Bastard, what the hell do you want? Huh? Mr. Serial Killer Psycho Freak Bastard, huh? That's a pretty long name. 
German, maybe. Hey, come on. We know who you really are. Maybe if I ignore him, he'll just go away. You son of a bitch. Hey, don't ignore me, asshole. Okay, okay. Let's get back to business. Your life here has already begun, and a couple of days have gone by, and nobody's killing anybody. I thought you kids were lazy and selfish, and here you are working together. But I'm totally bored. There's nothing you can say that'll make us start killing each other. I got it! Wait, I think yes. Ding dong. No, sorry. Ding, ding, ding. I figured it out. In other words... Mm, well, the mystery, the ingredients are here. Right people, right place. Why hasn't anyone killed anyone yet? That's what I couldn't understand. But I just realized there was one very important piece missing. Well, what are you... Shing! If you want to know, I'll tell you. It's motive. <laughs> It's so simple, I just have to give everyone a motive. Stop fucking around. What the fuck are you talking about? Hey, um... Oh, by the way, there's something I want to show you guys. You son of a bitch! Stop changing the goddamn subject. Hmm. I have a little video I'd like you all to see. Ooh, oh, but don't worry, it's not some exciting. pervy adult video or anything. Seriously, it's nothing like that. It's a special video for each of you showing what's going on outside the school. Outside the school? What are you talking about? Hello. Oh, Master's so impatient today. Why don't you just watch it and find out? Hmm. Here, in the school, let's us. There's a specific place you can go that has everything you need to watch that video. Correct. Good, then we can go watch the video right now. But before we do that, I'd like to know. You. What are you? Why would you do something like this? What do you want from us? Hmm? What do I want from you? Well, if you must know. Despair. That's all. Okay. So well, to the point. I appreciate that. If you want to know more than that, you'll have to figure it out for yourself. Mm. Do whatever you need to uncover the mystery hidden within this school. I won't try and stop you. Because <laughs> to be honest, it's entertaining as heck watching you guys search so desperately for answers. <laughs> so I guess I want amusement from you, too. He's gone. And once again, he's left before I could find out anything useful. Is that right? Really? I think we learned something very useful. He has no intention of standing in the way of our pursuit of the truth. However. Perhaps, but what about the video he mentioned? I'm very curious to see what's on it. That's true. Same here. Okay, so Mondo started glancing around the dining roll. But when his gaze landed on me, he stopped. Hell yeah. Hey, Makoto, check this out for us, would ya? Huh? Why me? Yo. Because you're closest to the door. That's the rule, right? Rule? Jesus Christ. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Piece of shit! Hey! Stop fucking around. You see how passionately I'm begging you? What's the big deal? Just check it out real quick. Uh, okay. I guess I'll get going Hell then. Hell yeah. Awesome, thanks. I owe you one. Hey, um... Makoto's going. I'm going with him. It's not safe to walk around this place alone. Yo. Yeah, sure thing. Then we're counting on the both of you. If anything happens, just yell and I'll come running. I can't decide if Mondo is totally dependable or completely terrible. Yeah, I'll have to say he's kind of both. He's not exactly a bad person. But I definitely can't say he's a good person either. So then, where's this specific place Monokuma mentioned? It must be somewhere you can watch DVDs, but to play set up for watching DVDs, then I know where it is. It's over here. We're going to go through Hope's Peak Academy to the AV room. Right over here. Right, let's go. Inside, what do we find? Several stations, and we have a box. That's new. Pick it. Huh, there's something inside this cardboard box. It's... Um. Kondo! Oh, bunch of DVDs! And each one has a label on it, with someone's name. This must be the video for each of us. He mentioned... Uh, hold on a I second! Better go tell everyone. She just ran off. I didn't follow after. I just stood right there, where I was. The DVDs in front of me had robbed me of all awareness. I was rooted in place. I think I see something. See what? What are we talking about? Think on it again. It's the cardboard box of DVDs we're in. You see what? What do you see? I need to find out what's on the DVD. I wonder what's in these videos. You want me to just click down here, you mean? Next to the monitor is a high-end DVD player. It'll probably play these DVDs no problem. Maybe I'll just watch mine real quick before everyone else gets here. I sorted through the DVDs and found the box and found the one with my name on it. Then I slid into the expensive looking player. I sat down and started intently, stared intently at the darkened screen and then... <gasps> I yelled out without realizing it and my heart started racing because what I saw on that monitor, it was my family. 
You getting picked to attend Hope's Peak Academy is like a dream come true. Make sure you do your best. I'm so proud of you, son. But remember, don't push yourself too hard. Are you really watching this, Makoto? Good luck, okay? If it had ended there, that would have been fine. A message of love and support. After leaving my family behind to attend Hope's Peak, it would have given me hope. Given me strength. If this was a normal school, I would have been happy, if a little embarrassed. With my family's support to rely on, I would have been motivated to do even better. But here, now, it's totally different. I wasn't living an ordinary school life, so I had a pretty strong feeling that the video wasn't going to end there. I hated every... I hated having that feeling, but it turned out I was absolutely right. Oh. Oh, now you've done it. Now I'm going to have to kill everybody in here to save my family. Okay, this time I couldn't even make a sound. My voice just died. Where'd everyone go? It looks like the war zone or something. And... As if in reply, a voice came floating out of the speakers. I recognized the voice, of course, it was him. Makoto Naegi accepted into Hope Speak Academy, and his family, who supported such a lucky boy. But it seems like something's happened to this family's well-being. Oh boy, this is bad. What could have possibly happened to this family's well-being? Look for the answer after graduation! What, what is this? What happened to everyone? I started trembling. I could feel the fear and anger building up inside of me like hot magma. God damn it! I slammed my fist against the desk over and over again. A single thought was racing through my mind. What else? How, how could I think about anything else? I have to get out of here. I have to get out right now. I need to make sure everyone's safe. Makoto? What happened? Make sure who's safe. I noticed everyone standing around the entrance to the AV room. They stared at me, faces full of confusion. Um, What's going on? Without a word, I pointed to the cardboard box. Is it like... Is that what Monokuma was talking about? What does this mean? What's on them? They all gathered around the box and each of them grabbed the DVD with a name on it. This is what you say, just don't watch it. We just, this is, you know, blissful ignorance. One by one, they each rushed to a monitor. It didn't take long for them to react. What the... What the fuck? This this huh? can't be real, right? It has to be fake, right? Hey, hold yeah. on. No way it's real. Haha, <laughs> no way. I can't take it anymore. I can't take this anymore. Let me out of here. And as soon as I saw the reactions, I knew they'd all seen something like what I've seen. Nobody even bothered trying to hide their fear and confusion except for her. Even now, she was totally I calm. See. So this is what he meant by motive. He wants to fuel our desire to leave so that we're more likely to start killing each other. Yes, indeed. It is the classic prisoner's dilemma. Hmm? Huh? Hmm. Let me use an example. Imagine two countries are on the brink of war, but both countries want peace and each commits to scaling back their forces as a sign of good faith. But there's a chance that one country may betray the other, so each country fears lowering their guard. The result is that neither scales back their forces and they both end up betraying each other. Do you understand? In other words, the fear of invisible treachery becomes the greatest enemy of stability. <laughs> <laughs> kind of sounds like us right now. Everyone says they'll work together, but in our hearts we're all afraid someone might betray us. <laughs> Don't put those awful thoughts in our head. That's exactly what they want us to do. Huh? You can say that, but maybe you're thinking that once everyone drops their guard, you can just... What? 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 Hey. This is exactly what Monokumi or whoever wanted this once. Behind this once. They want us to fight. Don't you see? Yeah, you're right. We all need to calm down. So then. Okay, then. Maybe we should start by all just talking. Maybe if we just talk about what we saw, that'll help get everything out of our mm -hmm. system. Besides, I think we're all super curious, right? I wonder what was in everyone's videos. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't curious. Hey, Sayaka. What was in your video, Sayaka? Oh. I don't know. I was gonna What's come up with your something. problem? Good. What's your wrong? Just hurry up and tell us. Sayaka? I gently placed my hand on her shoulder. Stop it! She pushed my hand away and suddenly ran off. Sayaka? That's enough. Let her go. I, I can't do that. I have to go make sure she's okay. I hate romantic comedies like this. I don't care what ha happens to her, I, personally. What? What's be that's because you're totally thoughtless. Um... I'm really worried. <sighs> then why don't you go 
do whatever you think you have to. We don't all have to stick around together, right? I hope you are well. Speaking of which, I have my own things to take care of. Goodbye. Everyone went their separate ways, but I don't have time to worry about them right now. I have to go find Sayaka. Okay. Let's do it. I'm not even going to look at them. I'm just going to exit. I'm leaving. Can I, can I click on the B? I want to get out of here. No, I don't want to click on that. I want to get gone. Can I go bye-bye? No, okay. So we do this first, and then we do this. Okay, maybe not that. There's a way to do this. I get B. Which is way over here. Let's do that one. Leave the area. Yes. That would be grand. Thank you. Where could she have gone? She can't have gone far. I would check around the school. Okay. Um, well, not you, then. Where could she have gone? I suppose we're going to find out in the next video. All right, we'll see you later, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you. If there is anything about this video that you did indeed enjoy, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more content such as this, and I will see you again later. Have a good day, have a good evening, wherever you are in the world. This is Briar Stone, signing out.